we've got a list of names and email addresses, and we just got a new list that has some of those same names and some new ones. We're going to find the new ones and get them into our list. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. Here's our old list. It's in a named Excel table. We've got email, last name, first name, and whether or not this person will attend our conference. The email is unique. No two people are going to have that same email address. We've got a new list, which also has email and first and last names. We're going to check the emails and see if they're already in our list, and that will keep us from getting duplicates. Before I start to work with this list, I'm going to change it to a named Excel table, which will make it easier to select things. So select any cell in the list on the Home tab, click Format as Table, and choose a style you like. So I'll go with a black heading. Where is the data? It's selected the correct range. My table does have headers, so I'll leave that checked and click OK. If any cell in the table is selected, there's a Table Design tab on the ribbon. If I click that, I can see that this was given a default name. I'm going to change this to New Table. So going back to this table, this is called Attendees. To find the new items in this list, I'm going to check the emails and see if they're already in the Attendees table. And to do that, I'm going to add a column here and I'll type a heading here in list. Is this email in that other list? And to do that, I'm going to do a count. I'll count the number of times this email address is in the attendees table. And the function that will do that for us is count if. I'll start by typing equal count if. And open bracket. What it wants is a range. So it's going to check somewhere. And we, where we want it to check is the email column in our attendees table. So we'll go there. And when I click at the top of that column, it's got the table name and the column name. And that's what we want it to check. Type a comma. Going back to the new list, what we want it to check is this email cell in each row. So when I click on that, now it's showing the field name in this table. And that's what it's going to check. Close the bracket and press enter. In this column, the formula either shows a 1 or a 0. If it found the email address, it's a 1. If it did not find it, we have a 0. We want to copy anything that has a 0, and to make that easy, I'm going to sort the column and then select all the zeros. To sort, click the arrow in the heading and sort smallest to largest. So all the zeros are at the top where we can easily copy them. Drag to select. Don't copy that formula column. Select all the names, then Control C, then go to the old list, go to the bottom of the list, end and down arrow, and then one more down arrow, and Control V to paste. And now all the new names are in the list.